In lesson two, two, we're going to learn how to analyze transactions um, and how they affect accounts. So each transaction is going to change at least two accounts. And so when we talk about accounts, I want to talk a little bit first about the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is a list of accounts that a business has used. So this is the chart of accounts for Delgado Web Services, which is the business that we will be using as our practice business throughout the first part of the book, which is through chapter eight. So right now we are not doing anything with the income statement accounts. We're looking just at our assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. And so there's a list of all of the accounts that Delgado Web Services uses to do their transactions as you go through. The big thing when you're doing a transaction is you have to make sure that the account is in the chart of accounts before you can use it. And so these are the only accounts we'll be looking at and using and analyzing our transactions. So before you analyze a transaction, there are four questions that you have to ask yourself every time. The first question is, which accounts are affected? So depending on the transaction, which two accounts are affected? Then you want to know how are they classified? Are they assets, liabilities, or owner's equity? How is each classification changed? Does it go up or does it go down? And how is each amount entered into the account? Is it a debit or a credit? Before we go on, when we did our transactions in Chapter 1 and up to this point, we've been looking at how they are placed in the in a T account and with the chart of accounts. And so when we talk about how is how are they entered, they want to know is it a debit or a credit and are they increasing or decreasing and which accounts are affected. And so our first transaction, receive cash from owner as an investment. When we look at that, before we look at anything else, we know we're receiving cash. And if we look back at our chart of accounts, we have cash as an account. And then when we receive that investment from the owner, that's also going to increase the owner's capital account. So in this transaction, cash and capital are our two accounts that are going to be affected. So cash is an asset. Assets go up with a debit. So our first question of which accounts are affected, cash and capital. How is each account classified? Cash is an asset. Capital is an owner's equity account then how is each classification changed well we're receiving cash so cash is going up and it's going up with a debit capital is also going up with a credit and so both sides of our accounting equation are increasing so our accounting equation will stay in balance so cash and cap and capital are affected cash is an asset owners um, capital is an owner's equity account Assets increase, owner's equity increase. And then cash is debited and capital is credited. So we have a debit and a credit and they both go up and our accounting equation is still in balance. And those are the four questions you're gonna ask yourself through every transaction that you do. And I'm gonna do one more with you. The next one is paid cash for supplies. So when we looked back at our chart of account, we have an account called cash. We also have an account called supplies. They are both, go back over here real quick. Cash is an asset, supplies is an asset. So I'm gonna jump back to our transaction here, paid cash for supplies. So in analyzing which two accounts are affected, cash and supplies, second one, how are they classified? They are both assets. Third question, how is each classification changed? When they are both on the same side of the accounting equation, one has to go up, one has to go down. So if we're buying supplies, our supplies account is gonna increase and our cash account is gonna decrease because we paid cash for them. So supplies and cash are assets, assets are in, supplies are increased, cash are decreased, they increase with a debit and cash decreases with a credit. And again, you're going to do that with each transaction that you analyze in this section of the textbook.